Hey, what's up everybody, it's me Jordan, and I'm back with another inking video. I try to keep these inking videos reasonably short, they're kind of just a preview, it's not going to be the whole process start to finish, but I just want to show you guys some of the drawings that I'm working on and that I'm going to be colouring with my Copics in the future. This time I'm drawing CL from Black Butler. I've had quite a few requests for a Black Butler fan art, and a long long time ago, I think it was like a year or two ago now, I actually started a fan art of Sebastian. I've told you guys about this before, but basically I did the line art on the wrong side of the paper. I didn't realise it mattered, and this was one of the first drawings I did on the Canson Bleedproof paper, which I use now, so I didn't know at the time. And then by the time I got to colouring it with Copics, it just didn't blend properly at all. So, I learnt from that. <laughs> And I'm still a little bit salty about it, so that's why I didn't do a Sebastian fan art. I've had a couple of people ask for that as well, but I decided to do a CL one instead. So hopefully you Black Butler fans will enjoy this one anyway. I had someone ask a while back why I start inking the body first. A lot of people like starting on the head or the eyes. My reasoning with starting at the body and kind of working my way up is simply because when I start drawing, sometimes I'm a little bit rusty or I'm just not quite warmed up yet. So if I start with the body, it means I get a chance to warm up and by the time I get to doing the head and the eyes, which are really important, I've warmed up and I'm a lot more confident. I don't always do that, but that's kind of the reasoning for when I do. I found a really cool reference for this drawing of CL. When I saw the picture straight away, I knew that I wanted to draw it and I thought it would look really cool. I'm pretty sure it's one of the covers of the manga one of the issues of it. So the artist is Yana Toboso, and I pronounced that completely wrong, I know, <laughs> but she's an awesome artist, so it's definitely worth checking out some of her work. I don't know what's worse, trying to say a Japanese name with a Japanese accent and it just sounding weird, or saying it like with your own accent and just butchering the pronunciation anyway, <laughs> but it feels less pretentious, so that's kind of what I go with. I just go with the Aussie way of saying it. <laughs> I think in this drawing I had just started using a new Copic drawing pen because my old one died. My first one was really temperamental, sometimes it worked really well and other times it just didn't work at all. So it was kind of frustrating that pen, I still really liked it, but this time I had just opened up a new one I think and it was a little bit hard to use at first because the ink was flowing out way more than I was used to. I was used to the other pen just not working, so this time the pen was actually working, and I'm just like, what the f***? Um, <laughs> no, nah, but it was just flowing out more, so it was harder to get really fine lines. So that's kind of why I did a pretty thick outline. Well, I like doing that anyway, uh, around the outside of the character, but it was especially helpful in this one because I could kind of just fix up all the lines if they were a little bit kind of wonky or whatever. I don't know. The good thing was the pen started coming good by the time I got to the hair, which you'll see later, which I was getting worried about because the cool thing about this drawing, I really liked how the hair was done. I liked the fineness and all the detail in the hair, so I wanted to really capture that. But with how the pen was working at the start, that probably wasn't going to happen. I've heard from a couple of other people who seem to have had similar problems with their Copic drawing pens. But the thing is, even if it does have a couple of issues here and there, I still really like it and I think it's worth it. Putting up with some of these kind of quirks of it not working or flowing a little bit too much. But the thing is, when it hits the sweet spot right in between flowing too much ink and not working at all, it feels so good and you can get some really good fine details. It's kind of like an abusive relationship. When it's not working, it's really not working. But when it is working, it just feels so good. <laughs> it's not like that at all, really. I think I have some really terrible analogies in these videos. I hope people don't take what I say in these videos too seriously. I'm generally pretty full of shit. <laughs> Alright, I thought it'd be fun to make a bit of a summary of what I think this character is. Now keep in mind, I know absolutely nothing about this anime, so it's all a complete guess. It's probably completely wrong, but I thought this would be kind of fun to do because I draw heaps of characters which I know nothing about. So I'm going to make some guesses about their personality just based on their character design. 
So I'm guessing that CL, he's got to be freaking rich or something because he's got a butler. You don't just have a butler for no reason. Otherwise, I'd have my own butler and they would clean up all my art supplies. My desk would just be immaculate. Not like the shitstorm it is at the moment. <laughs> so sign me up. Maybe he's an orphan. Animes seem to love having characters with dead parents for some reason, like all the time. So I'm assuming his parents have probably died in some really horrible way and that's why he's traumatized. Or maybe they've gone overseas to work and they've just like left him behind because it kind of looks like he's got some family issues. I don't really know. So he's got a butler and I'm guessing he probably mistreats the butler. He just looks like a spoiled rich kid so he's always getting what he wants. He seems like a little bit of a psycho. I mean, he's got a gun and he looks like he's 11 or 12 or something. So he's got some issues, obviously. He looks like he's been abused in some way. I don't know if it's by his parents or something like that, but he looks like he's got some issues. Well, that was my guesses about this character. I decided to actually look up a character summary to save you guys having to tell me in the comments about how wrong I was. And I was wrong about a couple of things. I feel a little bit bad about saying how spoiled he is and stuff like that when he was actually abused and stuff. <laughs> Pretty bad. So my bad about that. But anyway, <laughs> that's it for this video, guys. If you want to see more of my work and keep up to date with what I'm doing, works in progress, all that stuff, check me out on Instagram. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It'd be much appreciated. And like always, I'll catch you guys next week in next week's drawing video. Self drawing this picture over and over and over again and I am so <laughs> so sick of it so I just want to finish this one and then I can forget about this drawing I think it turned out pretty cool there was a couple of issues I had with it